In vitro fertilization or IVF is a process which has revolutionized fertility treatment over the last 40 years or so. Basically, it involves retrieving eggs, mixing them with sperm in the lab, and then doing an embryo transfer five days later. An IVF cycle takes anywhere from two to three months. The first month is basically spent doing testing, where we will check hormone levels, do ultrasounds, if necessary, do a semen analysis, make sure the uterus tubes, they're all normal. The actual process starts in the second month, where the woman is treated with fertility injections, which go on for about two weeks prior to an egg retrieval being scheduled. Five days later, an embryo transfer is, uh, is planned. However, if the embryo is to be tested, then the embryo transfer will be in the third month. First step is to complete a workup, which if it is a couple, then it would be a semen analysis for the male partner. For the female, it would be checking her hormone levels, doing ultrasound, checking the uterus, tubes, and uh, there are some genetic tests that also can be done because we are now able to prevent genetic diseases using a technique which is called pre-implantation genetic testing. Once the workup is completed, then the actual stimulation cycle starts. This involves injections with small needles that will continue for about two weeks. We then do an egg retrieval. In the lab, then egg and sperm are mixed together and cultured for five days before an embryo transfer is done. If it's a fresh embryo transfer, then this process basically is done that very month. However, if the embryo is to be tested, then we would do what's called as an embryo biopsy and freeze the embryo. And then a frozen embryo transfer, which would be in the third month, would be scheduled for the woman to achieve pregnancy. One of the dramatic changes that have taken place in in vitro fertilization treatment is that most good programs are only doing single embryo transfers. This is even more simple now since we are able to test embryos. So if we have a chromosomally normal embryo, then there's no reason to transfer more than one. Because of this, the only way a woman will have twins is if that one embryo splits into two. Currently at NVI Fertility Specialists, we have been doing single embryo transfers in the vast majority of patients, and we have a 2% twin rate. The egg retrieval is a simple in-office procedure done under anesthesia. The woman is instructed to not eat or drink anything after midnight. When you come to the office, nurse and anesthesia will talk to you and then an IV fluid will be started. We then give a medication through the IV fluid which is short acting. You will not remember anything, you will not feel anything, you will wake up immediately. Most patients leave the office within an hour of the egg retrieval. The actual egg retrieval procedure is also simple. Using a vaginal ultrasound for guidance, we insert a needle through the vaginal wall into the ovary and aspirate the follicles. Along with the follicular fluid, the eggs come out. So we go from one follicle to the other till we have retrieved eggs on one side. Then we go to the other ovary and repeat the same process. This takes about 15 minutes and it's fairly simple. Embryo transfers are done five days after the egg retrieval if we are transferring fresh embryos. The majority of patients now are getting their embryos tested. So the chances are that you will be having a frozen embryo transfer. Regardless, the morning of the embryo transfer, we instruct our patients to drink a lot of water because we need a full bladder prior to doing the embryo transfer. Embryo transfers are currently being done under abdominal ultrasound guidance. And basically, it's like a pap smear where we remove all the cervical mucus and then very carefully, the catheter, which is loaded with the embryo, is very carefully manipulated through the cervix into the uterine cavity. When we are doing the actual transfer, the air surrounding the embryo appears as a white flash. So it's very cool to see yourself getting pregnant. The success rates with in vitro fertilization have skyrocketed. In our practice now for many years, about 75% of patients will go home with a baby with one IVF cycle. Older patients, the pregnancy rate is lower. Patients with what is called as diminished ovarian reserve or egg factor will also have lower pregnancy rates. The vast majority of patients will conceive in the first cycle, but those that do require a second cycle, 
can start right away. Usually there will be a consultation with the physician at which time the cycle is discussed in detail. Then a plan is made for a follow-up cycle which will start with the next menses. Thank you.